died a couple times a part of what was in that bill was an authorization of a program i thought would be helpful to the private real estate market which was to set up a revolving fund that could be tapped at either no interest or low interest for the explicit purposes of old buildings you know being able to get the capital to invest in energy saving projects I remember when I went to I went to New York City and met with a group of real estate I'm sure you have many from there they were excited about this idea because even for them and you point out how what a huge group they are it some of these upfront costs are very expensive they have a payback sometimes two years five years the bigger ones take a little longer but I guess I'd like to ask you are would you be interested in that type of a, of a program you have to pay it back but it'd be a revolving fund and as we got the funding back we'd lend it out it just seems to me the low-hanging fruit on all of this for, for for everyone in other words whether you care about importation of foreign oil which none of us wants to depend on with so it's energy security uh, it's cost saving it's lower the carbon footprint it save money it's all these things it's a what I call it huge win all around so what do you think about that type of idea uh, Senator thank you you raise a lot of excellent points that are irrefutable actually I mean we clearly uh, a significant way to address uh, energy consumption and to reduce costs and to make businesses more productive is to make their buildings more energy efficient we think you can get a very strong bang for the buck by focusing in that area particularly on existing buildings as you as you mentioned we have statistics and they range from 75 percent to as high as 90 percent of the building stock that is going to be standing in America in 2030 is standing today and so the how much say again well some people say 70 percent some people say as high as 90 percent but the point is that a significant number of the buildings that are currently built today will be standing in 2030 so if we want to achieve great energy efficiency many years from now the focus is not on new development. New development will naturally yes. be energy efficient. Yes. We need incentives and we need financing programs to make the, uh, the existing buildings retrofit in a correct way. One of the problems is financing for uh, a large number of individuals, even prior to the current uh, economic situation. So your revolving fund concept was one that we supported, and our New York uh, folks that you mentioned I found it to be a very attractive uh, attractive uh, thing to do we've suggested in our testimony another uh, approach to this which might be to do a pilot program where you have a credit enhancement from the Department of Energy currently there are financing programs out there for energy saving activities in nuclear and solar and some mm -hmm. other things why not have a credit enhancement to get lower more attractive financing if you're going to retrofit your building we're not talking about a permanent program. We're talking about something that might jumpstart, uh, you know, the private market That's uh, in this area. What I like about it is it's an existing program, so you just have to add eligibility. Correct. And we think that current law allows uh, DOE to go in this area. Really? We do, if they, if they so chose. And perhaps a uh, uh, nudge from you would be very helpful there senator but your your points are, are absolutely well taken it's very expensive to do this yeah we should focus on existing buildings there's ways to do it uh, energy star lead these other programs are all positive but we need we need to be rewarding people to to do things uh, and to and to make their properties more right. energy efficient Well, in California you probably know we have terrific uh, and when you put together this federal credit for solar roofs and what we do in California is terrific I mean you spend I don't know thirty five thousand dollars I make this is sim this is pretty accurate to put solar roof on a home that will pretty much cover all of its electric bills and you get back a very nice you reduce it by at least a third may, may I yeah uh, the other obviously on getting financing is a significant thing but this tax incentive that yeah. you're you were very active in when it was originally put in place yeah 
it it does have some deficiencies that could be corrected that no one saw at the time and the administration has put forward some very good proposals on this so called one seventy nine deduction to make them work and that would be very powerful as well. Well would you work with us because I'm very interested and this is something that is really troubling me that it's such an obvious place. I mean first of all you get the capital people are hired small businesses private sector people terrific stimulus and then the payback is so good and then the businesses have more funding in their pocket to reinvest and in another project painting the building or hiring more custodians or whatever it is I just think it's a you know as as jobs are the major consideration still for us just this is an obvious one and and reduces the the carbon pollution which is we'd be happy to work with you I would be I'd love it so first of all I think we'd like to write to DOE and and raise this point and then do these corrections do you think they need to be made legislatively or could they be in the tax deduction area yeah they they would need a tax bill yes all right well let's take a look at what we can do and then I'll look at also the program that I you know there's a a big move here to do an infrastructure bank and the infrastructure bank it's a carry carry bill with Senator Hutchison it's going to look at I think the capitalization is 10 billion is that right yeah 10 billion and then they're going to allow it to be used for various things I would like to talk to Kerry and Hutchison and see if they put in you know these type because it's all a revolving fund process where loans are made and they're paid back to the infrastructure bank but it, it, the beauty of it is the savings will be generated from day one and uh, you it we paid back in five years just with the savings so that the payback to the federal government could be pretty pretty quick we could say in the number of years it takes to actually get the savings uh, I just want to thank all of you this is um, very important it, it may not seem too exciting to the outside world when we're looking at how to save energy but it's exciting to me and I know it's exciting to all of you you've dedicated a lot of your time and effort and some of you your lives to it um,